Hey everybody, it's Joel Toppin here, and I got a package in the mail from Compass Games. I haven't pre-ordered a whole lot from Compass Games over the years, although I do have a uh, fairly substantial collection of Compass products. They do make a really good product. I like their games. A lot of their games as of late have been, you know, bigger games and, and kind of expensive games at, at that. Uh, but I saw this on their, their pre-order stuff, and I thought, I this is one that will get a lot of play. I really like... Uh, Richard Borg's games. Notice the the verb here is an O, not an E. Um, huge difference. Anyways, I don't want to get into that. <laughs> um, so here is the American Revolution Commands and Colors Tricorn. So it's going to be, uh, I think, similar to the Commands and Color system that that GMT uh, makes, and of course Days of Wonder with the uh, Memoir Forty Four. Of course, Memoir Forty Four is really on the simplest end of the Borg game genre. So, uh, this here, I'm looking for something with a little more meat on it. So, I, I'm kind of expecting something that is going to have the level of chrome and, and uh, complexity comparable to the uh, GMT's Napoleonics line. So, let's go look inside the box. First of all, the box is very, uh, it's a very sturdy box. It actually has, I don't have all the shrink wrap off, but it actually has almost like a linen finish on the cover. Which is really nice. Um, definitely a sturdy box. It's a very heavy package because there is a lot of blocks in here. Um, lots and lots and lots of red and blue blocks, and so there's some sticker fun for you. So that's the only problem with this system is I got to put all those stickers on my aching thumbs. Okay. It's kind of a mixed thing because I enjoy the sticker fun. There's something <laughs> brings me back to my childhood, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, uh, so there's blocks. Stickers are going to go on the blocks. And let's see what else we got in here. We got a full color catalog of games I can't afford. So continue to dig in here. Cards. Here's the command cards. And more command cards. So, from the descriptions on Compass website, there are some wrinkles in the system uh, that's going to make this stand out a little bit different from uh, the Commands and Colors Ancients and Napoleonic. So, I'm looking forward to see what uh, they're doing with the cards here, what's going on that's new, and uh, let's see what else we got. We've got some dice. These are nice. They're already, there's no stickers in these are These are like pre-printed dice. Now, I know what you're thinking. Can I use these with GMT's Napoleonics? The answer is no, you cannot, and here's why. Uh, there's only one blue face for the infantry hits. There are two flags on here, so it is a bit, that is one difference uh, between this and the Napoleonics game. Napoleonics game would have only one flag and two blue faces. So, too bad for you, but if you do happen to have Battle Cry. And I think I got a copy yeah, here on my shelf here. Battle Cry. If you got that bad boy, you can use the dice from that uh, with the Napoleon scheme. So, okay, back to this one. Back to the game at hand here. Now, how many dice do you get? It looks like uh, three, four, five, six dice. Seven, I think eight dice. A few of them just kind of went rolling around. Okay, here is the map. It is a hard mounted map nice and not too dark it's somewhere in between like the dark green on the gmt's napoleonics and the 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 tan on uh on the ancients from gmt this is kind of a lighter more of a mint green uh background so a little bit different there i'm not sure how the uh what differences there are in the zoning on this if the other you know sometimes you can use different maps if you wanted to like recreate like a winter scene or something that's one of the things i wish we could do with some of the napoleonics battles is if we had a winter background map that would be kind of cool all right here is the rule book it's color it's glossy which isn't my favorite i prefer a matte finish but uh there's all your stickering instructions so it is nicely illustrated it's not a terribly complex system. And then the back of this has scenarios. 
and there looks to be quite a variety of scenarios so there you go there the whole rule book itself is 36 pages and of that uh, a substantial portion of it is the uh, the actual scenarios the scenarios actually begin on page 23 so from page 23 to the end is your your scenarios here are unit reference charts so there's all the information that you need for your to figure out what your units can do not do and so forth terrain on the back um, try to get this focused sorry there's your terrain uh, tiles the tile artwork um, I haven't dug the tiles out yet here but just ju judging from this the artwork style seems to be more along the lines of the battle cry from Avalon Hill uh, than the GMT style so. I, I actually am glad they went with stickers instead of miniatures because miniatures you got you know from battle cry you got to paint them if you want them to look cool or cooler I guess you could say um, these it's kind of like poor man's painted miniatures <laughs> so there you go two identical seat sheets of unit reference charts and terrain data here now is your stickers so there you go five sheets of these So sheet one of five, sheet two of five, sheet three of five has the, those were continentals on the others. This has got, um, what's it say, the British and Germans. It's kind of neat. Like the different uniforms depicted. Sheet four of five. It's got some more dragoons, it looks like, on there. Artillery. And then sheet five of five. It's got, uh, well, that's interesting. I'm really not sure what these things are about, but. Um, I'm sure there's rules for this, so interesting. Normally I'd say these are for the dice, but clearly we already have dice, so I'm not sure what the story is on, on those stickers. So, down here we have, these have a linen finish on them. How cool is that? Wow, these are really nice. These are the train tiles and looks like victory uh, flags or uh, something of that sort. Roads and streams and fences and swamps and all kinds of goodness. Hills with uh, redoubts. Uh, got two more of these here. Hills, forests, camps. Wow, all kinds of just neat stuff. That. Uh, simple enough game that you could jump right into if it didn't take you three days to sticker everything <laughs> so one type of game where I feel like you can get more money in the resale market if you've already stickered your copy than to have one that's brand new and unstickered <laughs> so there's some labor ahead of me to to get all these stickered and I wasn't expecting this whoops wasn't expecting this but uh, apparently there is a bonus scenario um, card for pre-order folks so uh, there you go that is commands and colors tricorn from compass games i'm joel top and that's what comes inside the box